Turn on the tube pump using the OK button. Keep the OK button pressed until the tube pump is counted down from 3 to 1. As soon as you see this screen, the tube pump is switched on. The Dreger Exact 5000 will now perform a self-test routine. After turning on, the message Leak Test or Skip Leak Test always appears in the display. Dreger recommends always carrying out a leak test before using the tube pump. Press the OK button when leak test is shown with a grey background in the matrix display. To conduct a leak test, the tube pump will ask you to check whether there is a Dreger tube still in the tube holder and if so to remove it and then to place an unopened tube in the tube holder on top. Then press the OK button to start the leak test. Once the test has been successfully completed, the tube pump is ready for use. In the password protected menu, the leak test can be set as an obligatory test. In this case, a leak test will always have to be carried out once the chosen interval has expired. The warning icon will appear in the display and no measurement can be carried out until a leak test has been conducted. To switch off the tube pump, press the up and down button simultaneously. The tube pump will now count down from 3 to 1. Afterwards, an automatic flushing cycle will start to remove any residual reaction gases. This will take about 5 to 10 seconds. The tube pump will then power down.